Unong ka mga kabhang sa 45 kalibre nga armas. Hangtod karong gisusi pa sa kapulisan ang hinungdan sa maong insidente. Apa nagtuo sila nga posibleng igo lang gidala ang patay nga lawas sa biktima sa maong dapit. Nga nakuha din, ha? Actually, uh, na tayo mga records nga previously na uh, drop of the pitan nga na-recover. We believe na dili ni diri sa Mandawi City di patay. It's somewhere else. And then, because of the location, ngit-ngit niya, medyo distansya na. So, nahimu ni siyang uh, suitable so, ano, labayanan. Sarap sa kaminga o kangit-ngit sa lugar, matod sa kapulisan nga nahimong labayanan na kini sa mga patayang lawas. Hinunda niya gihangyo karo ni Divaras ang hepe sa maong istasyon. Nga muhangyo sa barangay nga pasugan ang maong dapit, araw malikayan ang mas daghan pa unyang mabiktima sa mga sospek. To, to coordinate sa barangay, nga malight, ma light up na dira na area. No? And uh, pilad sa ila ang mga uh, patrolya, no? so that nga uh, kini mga incident na uh, ina mo sa bina. Hangtod karon blanko pa ang kapulisan sa identity sa biktima ug sa kun kinsa ang mga suspetsado nga nagpaluyo sa maong krimen. Usa sa paagi nga ilang buhaton mao ang pagsusi sa mga silingang syudad ug lugar kun do na bay lalaki nga missing. Hangyo ni Divara sa mga mandawihanon ingon man sa mga mulupyo duol sa maong dapit nga magbantay og i-report dayon sa kapulisan kun do na may namatikdan nga kadudahan ang lihok. RV Veloso, System News. Drug personality, misukol sa mga polis na pusilan apan usa sa mga residente na angol human maigo ang tiil. Nahitabo ang insidente sa may sitio Eagles, barangay Tipadilya, Nindakbayan sa Sugbo, pasado alas tres kagahapon sa hapon. Ang mga sakop sa Parian Police Station, milusad o bypass operation, apan kalit lang na mikuha sa iyang kalibre 45 ang suspek o gunang namusil ngadto sa mga polis. May baos ang mga polis na may resulta sa pagkatumba ni ini apan may bangon kini o namusil na sa si kaduhang pagpusil na banda ang bala ng amigo sa tiil sa usa sa mga residente. Gila pa sa kapulisan ang suspek sa nglit giangaan lang kini og Darwin nga dali usab nga gida sa tambalanan. Ang naangol gila usab nga si Markin Claro 32 anyos nga naglingkod lang at bang sa tindahan og naigo sa yang tiil. Nasakmit sa mga operatiba ang 25 gramos nga gituang shabu. Gipaabot na lang sa Central Visayas nga ipagawas ang warat o arrest batok sa ikonbikto sa Sanigang Bayan ng si Kanhidaan Bantayan Mayor Maria Luisa Luot. Matod ni Police Brigadier General Dibon Sinas nga sa pagkakaroon, wapa sila na dawat nga kamanduan gikan sa korte aron dakpon ang kanhi mayor. Kunila nang madawat ang warat o arrest, ilagday ipatuman ang maong nga kamanduan. Niyadtong Agusto 2, ang Antigraph Court 7 Division nakakita og pagtugot sa mayor sa 500 milyon pesos nga loan niadtong 2007 sa kagamhanan sa lungsod sa Danbantayan. Nga gihulagway nga usa ka illegal. Mabilanggo ang mayor og didaan na kini nga makadagan, nga makahupot o pa og bisan unsang posisyon sa guberno hangtod sa hangtod. Wala, wala pa may advice. Diba? If kung naa, tanaw na mo. Diba? Then we have to assess. Of course, uh, i-refer po na ito kung valid ba yung warrant. Ganito. Kasi basig may warrant, tapos bailable naman. Tapos nag-bail na dahil sila. Well, no, no. We will, once we receive the warrant, we will implement it properly. Land Transportation, Franchising and Regulatory Board kon LTF RB7 may pahigayon o konsultasyon ngadto sa mga taxi operator ingon man sa mga pasahero atol sa tigong gitoki usab ang hangyo sa mga drivers sa TNVS nga dugangan ang paghatag o provisional authority. Ang kasayuran ay ato de Decime Padilla. Gipahigayon ang konsultasyon sa buhatan sa LTF RB7 ug sigon sa ilang direktor Eduardo Monte Alto Jr. Tumong ni ini arumadungog sa banghabig sa ubang transport sectors. Subay na sa hangyo sa mga drivers sa TNVS na magdugang og 1,500 slots units. Sa pagkakaroon ang Department of Transportation kong DOTR, nitugot lang og 1,500 ka slots sa Subo, apan matod pa ang ginaghanon sa mga TNVS nga nagdagan karon Niyabot ng 2,000 nga na sa 3,000. Kahinunduman nga nagkalain-laing grupo sa TNVS ang nanawagan kang Presidente Rodrigo Duterte na paminaw ng ilang hangyo ilabi na nga daghan na sa ila ang nahinayak pagpalitig unit aron gamiton pagpamasahero o may nagbuhi sa ilang pamilya. Uh, wala may laing tuyog tumong ang pagkuan na magat kaya ang kanyang mong kaabanan nga wapantay PA ba? 
profesional authority. Mura maya mong gihangyo di rin nga mayon ta ma katong gi-allocate nga 1.5 matpunan pag itintawan para ang kasagarang gud sa mo na hinayak na gano'ng kuhag unit bitaw para ma kuhan po nila ma legal gano'n lang pagbiyahin. Para sa mitambong sa mga konsultasyon mao si Rusty Ibiernas, operator sa RDHL Taxi. Siya walay pagsupak sa TNVS kay matod pa ang nakahinay sa kita sa mga taxi kini mga bus nga giingong ng tanyag og libreng sakay sa mga pasahero. Pag siya tayo yung PSR, wak may problema kay ang nakahinay yung taxi kini bus. Oh yes, bus. Sa airport na na sir, kaya may bus. Bus una pa mulang kaya yung taxi. Pwede ba kaya sir? Ano sa may puwente? O kaya po. Mas dagan pa rin niya sa bus o sa pasahero para sa bus kaya sa taxi. Bawas sa mga operators o mga drivers, ipaminaw sa LTFRB7 ang habig sa mga pasahero may tungod sa hangyo na dungagan ang mga nagdagan ng mga TNVS. Si Shirley Mara nga sukay na sa TNVS ni Hulagway na komportable yun ang pagsakay sa TNVS. Dako kiniugtabang niya o kampante sa siya sa iyang seguridad. Maong nang hinaot siya nga madungagan kini. Grab in this case, no, grab yun siya. Kay mamanage yun naman mo oras. Ikaduha, ang security sa app na mo. Si Director Monti Alto may ingun nga paminaw nila ang habig sa matag sektor. Tunan una nila kini sa dili pa muhim og desisyon o giduso nila kini sa ilahang uluhang buhatan. Dili, may bawa na ito. Muna yung natay consultation, kaya dili na ito diretso nga i-endorse ito sa central office. Depends sa mga other... Ang mga pa nang istadihan, yun sa ikaw, sa demand, kaya lahat, halo-halo man yung sektors na mga po'y passenger. Desme Padilla, CC10 News. Patay human gipusil sa duha ka mga wamailing tao nga luwan sa motorsiklo ang kanisiman dito sa barangay Suong Uno, barangay Mactan, dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu, pasado alas 6 kagahapon sa buntag. Nailhan ang biktima nga si Hel Antonio, 57 anyos, o Mulupi Rosab sa maong barangay. Sa inisyal nga pakisusi, gibutyag sa kapulisan nga nagmaniho sa iyang multicab ang biktima o ban sa iyang duha ka mga anak sa iyang kalitlang gipusil sa mamumuno. Ang anak sa biktima nga nagpagidaron pa og 5 anyos o 2 anyos, wahi noon maunsa at tulo sa mga pagpamusil. Love triangle o personal grudge ang gitanaw karon nga motibo sa pagpusil patay sa biktima. Kiniuman giingong nag-away sa iyang asawa, gani giingong ginid ana ang asawa pagsud sa ilang panimay. Samtang ang duha ka mga bata, iton over nga sa DSWD. Mokad to ito mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngaan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTV Chapel. Naghang salamat. Sa una, vitamin E jud ko. Pero sukad so nag-Astax 9 ko, feeling na ko, nininuda kong skin og aura. Gamuntay vitamins ko sa una. But with Astax 9, lagsik ko o daghan kong mabuhat din na day. Energy booster yun ako ang Astax 9. Productive ko sa ako ang work, business, and sports. With proper diet and exercise, Astax 9 helps give the vitality and beauty you need. Para good vibes. IPI, your wellness, our passion. Mahalagang paalala, ang Astax 9 ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa anumang uwi na sakit. And niya na ang labing bagong medical breakthrough. Puffy Care No Sting One Wash o Puffy Care Cream. At doon ay lactobacillus solution na makatabang sa mas daling pag-ayo sa nuka, kamahong, hiwa, paso o nagkalain-laing sa madsapanit. Napamatunan nga ang Puffy Care No Sting One Wash o Puffy Care Cream epektibo musanta sa kagaw na hinungdan sa infeksyon. Puffy Care No Sting One Wash o Puffy Care Cream. Garantisadong epektibo. Desperation that exists in the world A growing helplessness we're at a loss to solve We 
yearn for peace, yet fight for selfish reasons. We search for meaning, but fooled by illusions. What went wrong? Why does every day seem to get worse in the midst of doubt and temptation? God gives us the simple solution. One of the most popularly uh, celebrated memorial is the memorial of San Roque or Saint Rock. So today we celebrate that memorial and in a special way we include and we remember people who are actually 
devoted to this particular saint and for all of us who constantly need his intercession, especially from uh, to be read from to be protected from pestilence. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by love of you as God and love of neighbor, Grant that, practicing the works of charity after the example of Blessed Saint Rock, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in times past your fathers down to Terah, father of Abraham and Nahor, dwelt beyond the river and served other gods. But I brought your father Abraham from the region beyond the river and led him through the entire land of Canaan. I made his descendants numerous and gave him Isaac. To Isaac, I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau, I signed I assigned the mountain region of Seir in which to settle, while Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron and smote Egypt with the prodigies which I wrought in her midst. Afterward, I led you out of Egypt, and when you reached the sea, the Egyptians pursued your fathers through the Red Sea with chariots, chariots and horsemen. Because they cried out to the Lord, he put darkness between your people and the Egyptians, upon whom he brought the sea, so that it engulfed them. After you witnessed what I did to Egypt and dwelt a long time in the desert, I brought you into the land of the Amorites, who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you, but I delivered them into your power. You took possession of their land, and I destroyed them, the two kings of the Amorites, before you. Then Balak, son of Zippor, king of Moab, prepared to war against Israel. He summoned Balaam, son of Beor, to curse you, but I would not listen to Balaam. On the contrary, he had to bless you, and I saved you from him. Once you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, the men of Jericho fought against you, but I delivered them also into your power. And I sent the hornets ahead of you that drove them, the Amorites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hittites, Girgashites, Hivites, and Jebusites out of your way. It was not your sword or your bow. I gave you a land that you had not tilled, 
and cities that you had not built to dwell in. You have eaten of vineyards and olive groves, which you did not plant. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read from that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. They said to him, Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, because of the hardness of your hearts. Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the, from the beginning, it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful and marries another, 
commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so. Some because they were made so by others. Some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. This interesting piece of uh, the episode of the Gospel reading, I always have a particular, what we call, um, a very famous and favorite expression in introducing how to take a perspective into the Gospel reading. And this, this is what I always keep on repeating, that the Gospel reading is about marriage and against divorce. Now, because usually the tendency is when you, you say the gospel is about divorce, it already gives you a, an idea that divorce is practically allowed. Now, although we know, little, we know certain important issues around this particular, uh, what we call teaching. So it's a good thing to really begin this with a very important, clear, actually clear distinction that the gospel is about marriage and against divorce okay so but then whatever the the the, the, the direct uh, what we call discussion that led to this always is presented in a wider perspective because at the end of the gospel the second half of the gospel reading is also talking about people who are not capable of marrying Precisely because, as we have heard it in the gospel, they were born so, or they were made so by others, or a personal choice and decision to really devote oneself to, to a particular reason, to a particular cause, or to, to God. And this is now the, the thing that we have to take into account in our society. This is a very hotly uh, argue, argued, uh, what we call, uh, issue especially nowadays. But what remains there is always the faithfulness and the commitment that is at stake in whatever dimension or whatever area we are talking about. Because even those who do not marry still have to live by a commitment. A commitment that is precisely according to the very choice that one has chosen. In as much as there is so much commitment that is actually required between the married couples, there is also a commitment required even for those who renounce marriage for a particular noble purpose or reason. And so the bottom line here is commitment. And I always remember a professor before that he is talking about commitment that has to be made already before entering something. Because commitment is not understood if you are already inside and then you go out of it. So the commitment always should be the starting point. In fact, if you study the etymology of the word commitment, it actually comes from the word that means to put oneself into the line, to put oneself into a certain situation. But these are the things that we have to take into account. And since anything can happen and many things practically come and sometimes uh, burden us. There are so many different angles that we have to consider. But the very bottom line, again I repeat, is always to go down to the very commitment that we have to respond to, that we have to live by. And here we take into account the very beautiful example of San Roque, who actually, whose commitment practically swept any other problem, most specifically in terms of even being disowned by, by his family or being uh, actually uh, being 
uh, rejected in such a way. But his commitment for the people, you know, especially during the time when prayer was needed, he had to perform all these things in order to help those who were needing, especially the works of mercy that we have to do. Because these also are connected with the commitments that we have. So in whatever we do, we always have to have that grounding, that starting point. And as we move along the process, we get stronger, we get, str we get strengthened every day because he is a God who provides everything. He is a God who is always there to help us, who is, he, who is always touching the very grain of our decisions and supporting us whatever may happen, come what may. So as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration and as Filipinos who are so devoted to San Roque, we take into account not only the commitment to be exposed and do works of mercy, but also focusing on the very commitment that we have as individuals, as married people, and most of all, as a community, as a church. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, husbands and wives share in God's creation of new life. Our intercessions today centered around the needs of parents and children. And so we say, fill our homes with your love, O Lord. That the church may effectively touch its members, the true dignity of marriage and help couples to stay together in their sacred calling, let us pray to the Lord. Heal our homes with your love, O Lord. That government leaders and legis legislators may enact laws and policies that build families rather than destroy them, let us pray to the Lord. Heal our homes with your love, O Lord. That families broken by divorce or separation may find support and understanding from people in their communities, let us pray to the Lord. Heal our homes with your love, O Lord. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitments, let us pray to the Lord. Heal our homes with your love, O Lord. That deceased relatives and friends may have the joy and peace in God's eternal home, let us pray to the Lord. Heal our homes with your God of love, you created us, male and female, to continue your work of creation. May our love for one another reflect your indwelling presence. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, 
and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may by the example of blessed rock be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Make your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you go. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with Saint Rock, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glory, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Rock, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Señor Santo Nino. O Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Señor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us lastly that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations, in hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials, in the failure of our plans and hopes, in disappointments, troubles, and sorrows, when others fail us and your grace alone can assist us, when we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge, when our heart is cast down by failure, when we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely, when we feel impatient and our cross irritates us, always, always in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Let us pray. O Santo Nino who has said, ask and you shall receive, Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give we beseech you to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O miraculous Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so incline to pity, be softened at our prayers, and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Amen.